Hey guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I have a bit of a different angle to my craft area. I, You are actually looking at where I create rather than looking down onto my desk because I have Storage by Stampin' Up! which has arrived um, in a humongous box because it all comes in little mini boxes. Hello, Miss Deborah. So, sorry, the boxes are right there on a chair. I've got them sorted out, but I haven't opened a thing. So what I am going to do, though, is just pop up. So when I'm turning this way, hey, Deb, hey, Kathleen, hey, Margaret, say hello if you're popping in. Sorry, my lighting isn't fantastic. I have all the lights on in the room. Um, so you can see my desk behind me and I'm going to talk to you a bit about the storage and I'm going to get up my second screen um, behind me. Hey Deborah, thank you for joining me. So I have shared some flyers here on my Facebook page and if you're not watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, I do have my Facebook linked below. Um, so I have shared the Stampin' Up! storage which went live on the 1st of April. I've been waiting with bated breath uh, between now and then for it to come in. Hello Miss Jennifer. Um, so I have a confession and my confession box, this is how I'm currently storing my Stampin' Blends. So I was, and they are not in pairs, I have made a terrible fool of myself in front of my customers for not having this organised. So I am really most excited about the Stampin' Blends because as you can see over my shoulder here, I have a custom made ink storage. So I've got that sorted out. I really need my markers and my blends. Now they haven't come out, hey Nick, um, they haven't come out with anything specifically for our Stamp and Write markers. So for the moment, I will keep them in my storage box and I keep them on the shelf the next one up from where my stamp pads is. I know, I may have rung Stampin' Up! this morning to say, why are they still... Sorry, the box fell on the floor. Um, why are they still in picking? I stayed up till midnight. Um, yep, yeah, but, yep, yeah, that is happening. So I am starting with the Stampin' Blend storage and where it is going to go is along here. So I'm going to keep my punch bars, but these baskets and these boxes... Uh, which I can move up onto my shelf to like the next shelf up from here um, because these and some of the products out of here out of this box in particular is my embellishments and my um, brush -o and stuff like that it's going to go hopefully fingers crossed into the open storage boxes oh Yes, I know. I can't wait either. So, let's begin. The boxes, very clearly labelled with what they are. And I have been reliably seen that everything is beautifully packed. So, we get a little info sheet about what they are. Now, pricing all over the world is different. In Australia, these are $24 for five trays, and that is without a topper. Now, these are just going to have to go on the floor. I do have the big box uh, behind this chair, which is in front of me, but I'm going to miss. So you get them with nice pieces of foam on each end, so they have been well packaged and cared for. And we have our nice plastic bags. And in here as well, we have silicon stick-on feet. That looks a bit better there. So the silicon stick-on feet, uh, they go on the bottom. Now, I will show you. 
so they go on the bottom here right so you got little holes now these trays are all it's not going to separate these trays are all separate okay so you can have 5 10 20 one blend tray if you've only got six blends okay so that is the blends trays now these do just sit together so it's a bit tongue and groovish and they just stack together and when they're together hold on I'll put it over here they are very sturdy they're not going anywhere they are locked in and if I pick it up from the bottom I feel that's very sturdy you can see how they're all stacking up and we have a couple of different topper options so I just bought well I bought more of one than I did of the other so this is just the topper lid and I will grab the price of the topper lid. So the topper lids, this just flat lid is $5. Okay, eh, doesn't want to come off. And this just goes on like so. So what it does, it has the Stampin' Up! logo on it and it just closes the top of the box. So we just have, don't lose all my silicon feet, so we have this and we also have, and this is called Topper Storage. So this you can fit 20, a few more than 20 reinkers in or you can fit lots of other things. I'm thinking... Um, I may even put my embossing paste uh, jars in here or I oh know I'm gonna fit I'm going to I'm gonna have a play I'm sure my sorry you guys are on my razcog on my normal stand but in my razcog and I knew I would move you at some stage see I just kicked you again I do apologize Okay, so this is the storage top. So you can see it's deep enough that hmm, reinkers. I didn't get down my reinkers. Bear with. Right. So I store my reinkers. These are the in colors. So I store these currently in our half wood mount case, and I store my full color families, and I've stamped down in. C for colour um, and I have um, I'll just put one in just so you can see it sits in there quite nicely and I will put this on the top as well just to show you so you can see this fits nicely right so the storage topper for Australia is $9. Hello, Miss Jamie. We're organising. Yay! My favourite thing. It's okay. I do get excited about organising. And if any of you know, I have done before this storage was um, even announced. I did, I did do a bit of cleaning and reorganisation. Now, the other thing Stampin' Up! have come out with, and this is the thing that I said I didn't need, but I've bought some anyway, because I'm thinking it will be good for classes. I know you love yourself some organisation. Sorry, taking all the foam off, taking it, oh, taking more silicon feet I'm going to be collecting these silicon feet I think now and there are these all configured together so this no they are too tall I can show you because I do still have five of the old ink pads um, so this stack is also $24 so it's for five 
trays it's $24 the same as the blend storage and I will put some in at I just want to unbox the individual things first um I don't know Jamie hold on let me put these down and I will I'll put the topper on the top and I want to show you something really interesting in here so it's got some guides so it doesn't slide all the way in so it sticks out the front and I'll show you that I will check all those things Jamie just let me unpack one more thing and I bought lots of these open storage so I want to do my main unboxing first well at least the individual parts and then I will start organizing and I've realized I have to move all these punches to get the baskets off and I'm on a bit of a time crunch because I haven't started packing for New Zealand um I can check because I do actually I'm halfway through making some projects at the moment which I was going to finish off today and film tomorrow hello Miss Marion lovely to see you I know I'm on a bit later than I normally am. Sorry, Jennifer, let me... It does look like Christmas. I feel like it's Christmas, but I bought them myself. Ah, uh, yes, the card bases is. So these are the open storage boxes. Now, in a video that I have watched someone else do, they are designed to sit like this. They do not sit on these without in they so you can see at the bottom you've got your lip and i'm hoping i am clear sorry because i'm really clear looking at myself i'm fairly clear so this is the lip that connects to the box underneath now this lip only is on the bottom and the opposite is on the top so you can't sit your box any other way other than the way it's designed so this fits like this so open storage so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to take my in colors here and I am going to slide a couple in so these slide in and I will bring it I'll even put the topper on so it all looks finished and everyone knows my hands are going to struggle with this. No, it's not singing properly. And this is not hard, it is just me being me. Do you know what? I think I've put this on upside down. don't sorry for giving me the side of my head here let's see if the topper fits on better uh, the walls just need a touch of it's okay and sorry I have to put on my fan it is um, really hot in here. It's uh, like a summer's day here today. No, the pen groove is right. I'll show you. Let me grab my pack of in color markers. Sorry, girls, I'll read you this way. Uh, right, and now I'm getting messages from my son's friend who's helping him out tonight. So we have blueberry bushel and we'll pick that one up later, shall we? Now I'm trying to get this so you girls can see it. So these fit in lovely like this. So they do stick out a fair way, but do you think I've got that upside down? Do you know what? I don't think I do. I think it's meant to go like that. Let me check the photo. Uh, no, I've got it the right way. 
I know it looks wrong, but it's right. Hey, Ray, thanks for joining. I'm just playing with my storage. Um, just let me, uh, yes, six question marks. Sorry, guys. Need to deal with real life while I'm talking to you as well. Um, sorry, get myself comfortable here again. Thinking car bases. No, because the pen groove is here. So then that gives you plenty of finger space to get in. I know, I know pictures do help. Um, but yeah, no, definitely the right way because this dip is actually a lot narrower than this dip. Right. So I must remember that pen is on the floor. Okay, now let me deal with this little baby because this didn't want to go in. Ah, it's just a touch. Everyone can laugh at me and really see the struggles that I go through with my hands because I tell you, okay, these ones are easier. Ha, I, what I needed to do, I'll show you, just needed to pull out these sides a touch to close the box. So I just, what I did, let me see. Hey, Marion, yes, you are seeing me in Auckland. I'm currently avoiding packing by unpacking and organizing. So you can see we've got these little grooves here at the back. So with the open box, I found it easiest to line up these grooves. And then I just pulled the side out slightly to have it all click in. So that, there is your tip for the day. Right, now I can pop this back on. Right, even though my ink pads do fit in here, now what I might even do is pop this upside down to give it a bit of height this is going to be interesting take everything out i'm going to pop this up because you can change these configurations to anything you want now what i'm doing again i am lining up the back and then i will just pop it out the tiniest bit right and they lock in so you've got a better view there okay envelopes <laughs> I can't tell you how messy it is over there I really can't yes you could section every color family Jamie let me grab my envelope sorry we're gonna get super super duper close here This makes for such good television, I tell you. So, envelopes fit in. You can see from here, the envelopes fit in lovely. So, card bases, I know. You can see the condition of my hair. Lucky it's coloured and you can't see the grey. So, you've got, you can fit in the envelopes and they hang out approximately that much standing on their side no we cannot stand them on their side but let me grab some card fronts uh, where are the card fronts card fronts are over here sorry another extreme close up okay card fronts no they can lie down but they don't stand up so you lie down this way don't stand up okay there is your answers to your questions so far any more questions please ask okay so i was going to do something with this and i can't remember what i was going to do someone please remind my brain what i was going to do i don't know oh that's what I was going to do. We're going to try other ink pads. So. 
<laughs> live in real life sometimes isn't pretty. So, a Versamark pad. My Versamark pad is not going in. No, my Versamark pad is not. Next one is stays on. Yeah, that's the thing. You can, yes, you can absolutely pop them standing up if you have the open. Sorry, that was an alarm to pick up my son, but he finished early today. Oh, yes, I did. I did, I did. Hold on, I'll grab the car fronts again. This is with this box closed. Okay, so if... So this is a card front, Mossy Meadow. It fits... Oh, a card front. Now, Jennifer, I am talking Australian cardstock. A card front barely fits. And I mean barely, but there's nothing stopping you. I'm actually going to open another box to demonstrate. This is a great unboxing. I hope you're enjoying because I'm enjoying. You would not believe the mess I'm making. And my girlfriend's staying in this room tomorrow night. She's bringing her stretcher. And staying over before we leave at stupid o'clock for the air airport. Now, there is no saying, guys, that you cannot put your card fronts up and your card bases up in the top and not put a topper on it. Was meaning the ink slots. No problems. Ink slots. Yes, you can, but they do hang out the front. So you can see they do hang out a touch. Okay, yes, I knew that's what you meant. Yes, they do, but I will show you again. You do have these in the back, and these stop the ink pad going all the way back. Okay, so that is going to stop you putting too much because you can see there's only a little bit here. That's going to stop that. I hope that's helpful, Jennifer. Right. Um, now, we didn't try the stays on ink because I got distracted. Are we surprised by this? Um, a sponge or a dauber? Because sponges are a no, I will grab down my daubers. No, my stays on actually lifts, it actually lifts them apart here. So stays on is also a no. And I think I've just got memento. So our memento tuxedo, yeah, just enough to grab. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have... No, the, the square ones, they will be way too high. I do have one in a box over there that I don't use. But, yeah. Okay, Memento. No, they want to separate again, girls. So they're just pulling apart. Oh, yes, just the foam. Yeah, yeah, but, Jamie, let's look at this. By the time you put in the ink pad, there is not enough room at the top. Yep, I'm getting there, Eileen. I am getting there. Yes, that is an awesome, that is exactly right, Deborah. You pop them on the top. What we can do, and I will show you, although I store mine upside down, yes. Yeah, you could, but then you're changing the stability of the whole unit. So it's, no, old, old ink pads don't, but I will show you. Now, I do have ink colours 
favorite saying goodbye color if you want them order them through me please no, you ordered them through your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I would really appreciate if I was your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I think these little ski bits on the edge of these ink pads are going to be an issue. So I'll take out a new style. Pop in. Yeah, no, that's the worst of the lot. That is, um, that's really lifting at the side. So that's a big no no this and this is specifically designed for our new style ink pads and even my old system you can see here i've got mine on the side so after this year i won't or after this catalog i won't have any old style ink pads now the other one that we haven't checked is the it's called the stampin pad but it's like the, it's a spectrum pad so what it is because no they are not jamie but that's what's working so this is an uninked spectrum pad yes um i think you should be able to fit where did i put the old one so your versamark and your so I've got Versamark Memento stays on, so they fit quite nicely in there. And let me take those out. And if I don't throw it in, these actually fit quite nicely just lying flat. And you can always put the reinkers, I'm sure. Yes, and the reinker fits perfectly beside it. So absolutely the open ones, you can store your old ink pads in. No issues at all and re-inkers down the side. So there you go. We are finding solutions for everything. Okay, let me grab these cards back. Now, the one thing we haven't played with at all is putting... In. Oh, I didn't show you this the spectrum pad. So the spectrum pad once again lifts lifts it at the side. Yeah. Look. Yes. Yeah, I just thought of that and did it, Deborah. Really, I just did that. It wasn't anything. I hadn't that wasn't premeditated at all. Okay that back there um blends now where did i put my box of blends now i've got to find you know what i'm gonna want to do i'm gonna find going to want to find pairs but that may not be the way it's all good let's see if i can find a happy pair just one to do no, that's call me Clover. I can tell you that right now. No, we're not going to find a pair. But what I am going to show you is how they fit in beautifully because mine aren't... Because what I might do is put all mine in and then make friends from there because we like making friends. So I might pop them all in and then it'll be easier to make friends from there. So they sit in and basically the lid hangs out. So perfect to uh, grab hold of your, um, of your blends. So they actually fit really nicely. And I like that everything's so modular. You can have, I think I'm having Oh, it's going to look so pretty, Jamie, especially when all the friends are together. Oh, is that a pair? That's going to keep going off. I, I will fix it. If it goes off again, I will fix it. So, no, that's an ivory and a petal pink. It's okay. So, these are going to look amazing. Absolutely amazing. I... This is exactly what I wanted because 
this box of chaos just is it ah uh, do water brushes put in there uh, you expect my spinner jamie okay i'm only playing with stamp and spritzes because my mini misters don't live on my desk okay aqua painter mini mister where do you want me to put it that could go many ways i humbly apologize all the thing i can't put all the things in there jamie i just can't okay so that can stay there the other thing i wanted to show you um yeah that fits in no that doesn't fit in there and i think this is way too round I don't know why you'd want to put them in there. Yes, Jamie, keep it clean, please. Keep it clean. Can you tell some of these girls know me? Yes, very dangerous. Can you tell some of these girls know me really, really well and are goading me? Stop. Stop. Please. Okay. Um, these actual tools do fit in the blend storage really well so the mini mister and your aqua painter they fit in the bit here really well i'm trying to do a professional video jamie and you're not helping no matter how much i love you right so they fit now the other thing i wanted to show you about the open storage is we were talking about the half wood mount cases now these fit perfectly in here so you can store embellishments in there anything like that and they will fit perfectly stacked up as i said this is my i'm really happy with my storage for my reinkers because they're in color family i sort of, and this is in color family as well which is how I like it. Um, the other thing we can store, I have a spider. Can anyone see this spider hanging down? I'm going to be brave. It's a dead spider now. I'm so sorry. I'm not a spider person. Yes. Now, the other thing, our ribbons. These also fit really well in here. Hey, Annie Di, how are you? Playing with stamp and storage. I'm in heaven. Annie Di's known me really long time. She happens to be my godmother. Um, so our ribbons, I don't know. It was a baby one, Ray. I don't touch Huntsman's. No. I'm sorry, Ray. It was little and I don't do big spiders. Okay, so let me grab some more ribbons here okay so i have i've got quite a number of ribbons in there <laughs> no we're not we are not yes i did order a lot of open boxes because as you can see sorry i'm going to remove this butterfly as you can see here i do have a lot of ribbon storage and then I've got like stuff like my stamp and mist and I've got sanding block and I've got tissues and hand cream and lots of different business supplies that I am going to love to put in my open boxes. And what I was thinking as well was not closing one of my open boxes and taking all my embellishments and standing them up so just standing them up like this so i can look in them or i can lie them down yeah just the little tissues but i also have the big mama roll of um paper towel yes so you've got, I mean, these open boxes, the endless, 
endless, endless ideas. Yet standing up and flick through, because even on the side, I can flick through and go, they're my pearls, they're enamel dots, they're my faceted dots, I can do all of that kind of thing. So I've got that. Um, any other questions? Because I'm going to open more blend storage. open this box and they all come with some instructions should I read what the instructions say remove silicon feet from paper and adhere to the bottom of the tray thicker feet go to the front of the tray and thinner feet go to the back um, we will check that Jamie I will grab a few punches I am assuming it will wonder if I'm going to make, just a warning, I'm on low power mode. More silicon feet. So they come in this plastic little bag as well. I'd say it would stop stuff from rolling out, Jamie. That's right. Oh, thank you, Ray. You're really seeing the real me. I thank God I'm wearing mascara and lipstick because I was at work today. Otherwise, you never know what you could have got. You could have got me in PJs. Okay. Okay. And I think I've got one more lot of blend storage. <laughs> you, no, Jamie. No, no. They could go in one of the storage toppers. So, yeah. I don't know why I actually have my second screen up at the moment, but I've got it there just in case. So these, I think someone jokingly said in a video, they had tested these at 50 high. So if you've got that much space on your desk, go for it. But it's going to get a bit tippier the higher and higher you go. So I've only, the space I've got to work with is to the bottom of my punches. So I measured it all out. And the other thing Stampin' Up! do have that I can share with any of you is a configuration sheet. So depending on how many of each thing you have, whether it's your Stampin' Blends or whether it's ink pads, um, Oh, that's going to fit perfectly there. And I think I just want one of these on the top. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. Um, I can... Yeah. No, I do agree, Deb. I do agree. I'll see how I go. But of course, I've dropped silicon feet. More silicon feet on the floor. Um, so that will be my blend storage. And I have stopped that alarm. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Ray. That's lovely. Yeah, I knew I was going at an odd time for all the Americans. Storage is awesome. You can do what you want. Um... Yeah, I bought 10 of these because I thought they might be good for classes um, to leave it set up in my dining or to take it out to my dining room table area and have it on my table rather than grabbing ink pads awkwardly out of my um, Razcog carts, which is what I use to cart my supplies from here to there. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but I also wanted to have them to show my customers because whilst I don't use them, I'm very happy with my spinner. Um, these are not a commercially available spinner, I will tell you that. Um, they, the ink pad one, you've got to grab the ink pads out. So I'm going to say probably not good, Jamie. I can't show you because you guys are currently in my Razcog on the stand. So I can't show you how old I could. But, you know, 
you don't need to see the mess of this room um yeah it would work but you've you'd have to have the top tray of your rascog over and then it might slip off yes you can flip the top basket over and they'd sit there nicely but i'd be worried when you moved your rascog that the whole tower may fall uh, going back to this spinner this was custom made um custom made for me by a friend as a one-off so I'm sorry that's not available I do recommend this but this wasn't available at the time um, and I probably do have the wall space but at that time I didn't think I did that's okay we rejig things we move around my stamps aren't moving from there they're all sitting there ready to be used Although I'm using quite a few things at the moment. I've got a um, project for later this month on the go. I've got one more step to stamp and then assembling cards. And I'm going to film one card that is for the um, Christmas Stampathon. So I'm getting in nice and early with that. And I'll have it ready to go on the 25th. So what I think I will do, I will leave... I think I'm going to leave it here because I think I could be here for hours organising and no one needs to see me organising and reorganising. I did really want to showcase these. Um, what, what I'm going to show you again though is putting on these open boxes are just slightly more difficult to put the toppers on so what I am doing is lining up these square slots at the back there we go and then at the front oh they've gone in perfectly I just find lining it up at the back <laughs> I did I sort of started packing this morning Deborah when I was getting out this shirt out of my wardrobe I put the shirts I want to take to New Zealand together yes the top makes it really really sturdy and this is three units high at the moment so I could quite easily put another unit on top of this no issues at all so yeah but you can put your blends in here if you wanted to put your ink pads then the corresponding blends on top of each other and then you could put an open box to put do the ribbon roll oh ribbon rolls on the top brush uh, where did I, oh ribbon rolls are at the bottom ribbon rolls at the top yep they fit in quite nicely they're not going anywhere you've got you've got enough of it in there that it's not going anywhere so the ribbon rolls I'm totally packed in my head I know what I'm taking I know where everything is I need to start downloading some shows onto my iPad um, and a couple of books see how I go I'm going with the bookworm so I know she will need some quiet I've known her I've known her to no three quarters of my life so I know she needs her quiet time so I am taking things to do quietly because we're going to enjoy our time without the children now um, pricings for this I have got this if you go into my photos on the page or you go to my store which I have linked you can go and have a look at the pricings because it's different for every region the prices I was talking about um, earlier are Australian prices obviously if you're watching me from the US or the UK and Europe the pricings are different um, if you have any questions please ask me I think we covered quite a lot of odd things today that you girls were asking if they fit 
um, but yeah you can put these in totally whatever configurations that you want I do have a lovely um, partner I was saying to someone today the last time we went away together was on a girl guide camp intense we made our own bag racks there was lots of sand and I need solid ground so yes my teenage camping escapades were very um interesting but that's okay i had fun so yeah for those of you i don't think i'll be back for a live tomorrow um that's okay that's what i wanted to do i wanted to take my time familiarize myself with it oh exactly jamie I've just tipped the iceberg. Hey Shannon, I've just tipped the iceberg with what you can do with it. Um, but there is so much more than this. So much more. So yeah, that's okay. I wanted to open it and I thought I'm not going to open it without videoing it. Because I'm really happy with the quality. You've got the Stampin' Up! logo on everything, which I love. It makes it ours um yeah i will have a great time for all of you who aren't coming to new zealand to on stage i will be sharing as much as i can as free wi-fi permits um while i'm over there i don't have my normal phone data while i'm over there so i'm only relying on what the um, hotel and convention center will allow but i will try and share as much as i can here i hope to travel travel safe deborah um yeah but i will share as much as humanly possible here and if not i will do a big round round out in a video which i will likely do when i get home anyway i will i will thank you girls thanks for sharing in my excitement of storage by stamping up um i can't wait to get all of this organized i have taken a before photo um and probably it won't be till i get back that i take an after photo because i do have some things i need to do tomorrow because i leave at 5 30 on wednesday morning no I work with a New Zealander and I have a son-in-law who is a New Zealander so yeah no 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 I'm not going to say words the wrong way because I do laugh at the way they say some things it's quite hilarious quite hilarious okay guys thank you so much I am going to get my boys ready for karate and get on with the rest of my late afternoon it's nearly five o'clock. So thank you guys. Bye.